Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 1998 on an S registration, as uh, almost all of them are. Um, Land Rover Defender 90, um, genuine 50th anniversary limited edition, it's the 4 litre V8 automatic, as always finished in uh, Atlantis blue um, pearlescent paint, um, as they always are. This one is basically a standard vehicle with a few, uh, few upgrades. Um, the last owner's had it for a number of years and apparently used it on uh, lots of uh, expedition trips and stuff. Um, and spec-wise, it's got uh, a matching set of five BF Goodrich um, 26 LT26575 R16 um, mud terrain TA tyres on it. A set of five on the correct uh, pewter alloy wheels. Has it had a lift kit on it? I'm not sure. I don't think it has. If it has, it's a very, very, um, very small one. I need to put it next to another, another one of our stock to see. Um, I'm fairly sure it's got old man emu suspension on it though, um, which may, uh, may be slightly different to uh, ride height wise. I need to uh, check the history on it, which is really substantial in fairness. It's got the full proper um, external roll cage, the way it should have, or the half cage certainly. Um, spec wise, apart from that, the 50th, it's basically effectively a county station wagon, so it's got the sunroof and all the county trim and stuff on it. This one has also got um, a 50 litre auxiliary fuel tank, just there, which presumably goes underneath the, um, the driver's seat. Uh, it's got uh, jackable sills, mud flaps front and rear, it's got a snorkel, uh, it's got uh, four rather powerful looking light force um, spots on it, on the uh, mounted on the top of the roll cage. It's got an auxiliary spare wheel, it's actually got two spare wheels, this one, auxiliary spare wheel on the bonnet, um, some extra checker plate on the bonnet to support that. It's also got a, um, a worn remote control winch with what looks like a Dyneema rope. Um, the remote controls that all in the car, mounted on a proper winch bumper with the usual chrome A-bar as well. It's also got a custom front grille, light guards front and rear. Uh, underneath it's got full underbody protection. I can see steering guard and uh, diff guards there. I think we've also got tank guards as well on this side. I'm not sure about that. Actually, it wouldn't have a tank guard because it's got the tanks in the back on one of these. Um, but it's certainly got uh, underbody protection on the front end. I can't bend down too far, I'm afraid. I'm uh, struggling at the moment with the damaged neck. Um, looking down the near side, all the same stuff there. Yeah, light guards. Uh, around the tail end. We've got rear access ladder. Um, it did have an ex uh, expedition roof rack on it, I think, from memory. Um, light guards on the back as well. The proper NAS rear step with integrated tow pack. Um, swing away spare wheel carrier. Uh, inside it's the standard 50th interior, so you've got um, the cutaway uh, bulkhead and everything giving much more room. Obviously it's automatic. It's got air conditioning which is uh, nice and cold on this one. It's got a very nice JVC uh, stereo in it, um, radio CD and uh, iPod capability. Uh, it's also got in the back here, I can take this out if you want, but uh, my bag doesn't come with it incidentally. But here we've got a nice sort of uh, two drawer um, storage cabinet which also lifts off at the top there, um, which can come with it if you want. If not, I'll take it out. It's so the minute I can't really lift it because I've got a back problem. Um, Obviously the seats fold down, um, but so you may want that in, you may want it out, it's entirely up to you, but I don't mind if it comes with a vehicle. Um, it's also got a, uh, that's a high lift jack mounted up there. So it's got some, lots of bits and bobs on it, this one. And uh, so it's had one owner for a number of years, about 10 years or so, I think. I need to look at the history. And uh, he's been far and wide in it, including I think up to the Arctic Circle and around Iceland. Anyway, let's go around the, um, let's go around the bodywork. Considering it is one that has actually been uh, not used as a Chelsea tractor, shall we say, it's actually in surprisingly good shape bodywork wise. Um, most of the paint looks to be original and uh, apart from a few sort of minor scratches on it here and there, there's certainly no big dents or anything. Going around the front end, what do we have here? Um, around the bonnet and everything, there's a couple of marks and bits of paint loss here just on the front of the bonnet, two or three there. Um, the custom grill, because it doesn't cover the bit that the normal grill does, does look a little bit scabby just there. Uh, normally the, the, other, the grill sort of sits over that. Um, but otherwise, paint on the bonnet all looks very good. Down the near side wing, it all looks pretty smart. There's some paint loss and stuff on the um, front uh, 
panel bit here below the light, a couple of areas of electrolytic reaction just there. But down on the near side um, front wing, it's all pretty good. There's a scratch just there in the near side front eyebrow and a couple of minor hedge scratches on the eyebrows, but no more than that. Um, scuttle corner on the near side here is very good indeed. Doesn't look to have been bodged or played with at all. It looks very nice. Screen rubber isn't the best, but uh, they never are really. Um, and as always, it's lost a bit of paint on the hinges. But the, a -po the, the scuttle corner itself is very good, as is the A-post. Just so a few light hedge scratches just down here. Um, near side door, very electrolytic reaction free. The whole car is actually for one of these. They normally do get quite, um, quite a lot of reaction on these. But this one doesn't seem to have much at all, really. Um, there's a few hedge scratches just on the passenger door, which probably they're that, um, that light. They probably will polish out with a T-cut, in fairness. And one, two, three minor parking dinks in the near side door. Um, Interior-wise, it's all rather lovely. The seats are in great shape. Um, all the proper 50th trim is all there as it should be. Dash is nice. That's the remote control thing for the winch. That's a battery condition indicator, which I can't seem to make work, so we're not going to mention that. Um, it's got a CB radio, which we've got the aerial for it and everything. I've taken that off for the time being. Um, but the oh, and it hasn't got the mats in it any the the carpet mats in it anymore. It's just the um, the rubber mats, which is normal because they don't tend to survive very well. But uh, it looks pretty good under there. Can't really get those out because they're behind the air conditioning unit. Um, near side door feels pretty good. No movement in the hinges either. That's all nice. Near side rear wing, again, just a few very, very light hedge scratches in the paintwork, but very light, so they may well, uh, some of them may well polish out. Um, roof, we did talk about the roof, can't really see it actually. It's okay. A couple of minor marks around the back here where the expedition rack's been fitted. Same on the other side as well, just on the gutters. Um, but it's actually pretty good around the tail here, so they normally get a lot of reaction around there, it's all rather good. It's couple of spots of reaction just down here. Um, around the tail end there is some reaction on the tailgate in the usual areas up here and down here under the lock where they always go uh, and a bit down the bottom edge. Um, rear cross member looks nice and strong and good. Uh, let's have a look inside the tailgate itself. Tailgate frame hole in the bottom edge just there. But the, um, the important end, that end is pretty good. So a little hole in the bottom of the frame just there. Um, but otherwise it's, uh, it's not bad at all. Obviously the spare wheel carrier helps because it takes a lot of the weight off of the, um, the rear door. But there is quite a lot of reaction and paint loss on the edge of the tailgate just there. Um, offside rear wing is all nice by the look of it. Uh, Again, as I say, a couple of marks up here, marks and bits of paint loss, just where the expedition rack has been fitted. Um, fan side is good, offside rear wing is good. A little bit of paint, sort of sorry, lack of loss, lack of bubbling, just underneath the, the auxiliary fuel filler, just there. Um, and slightly scuff, very, very faint scuff on the back of the, uh, the eyebrow, but very faint. Driver's door, very good once again, slight sort of about inch long parking dink just there. Otherwise, not bad at all. Um, offside A post is all good. Offside scuttle corner all looks very good. Nothing bubbling there or anything, all very nice. Offside front wing is pretty good, but there is some electrolytic reaction coming up. A where the roll cage bolts through just there, hasn't broken the paint yet. Another bit there, another bit there, and that's about it. And there's some um, quite deep scratches just on the very front of the offside front wing just here going up into the eyebrow, but otherwise pretty good. Um, snorkel has lost a bit of its uh, luster, shall we say, it's sort of uh, a couple of bits of rust and stuff on the, um, on the snorkel. Um, back to inside here on the driver's side. Driver's seat is all nice, um, no tears or anything in there. Again, the mats aren't in the front, but that's, uh, that's normal for one of these. Just got some <coughs> autograph mats in there. Also got a slightly dirty one because of my dirty feet. Uh, we are on a farm though. Um, dash is all nice. Driver's door feels fine. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. Hinges are good. That's about it really. It's a really, really nice 50th, this one. And uh, let's say, some nice upgrades on it one way or another. 
That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can uh, excuse me, uh, normally ship it anywhere you like in the world. Certainly we can um, deliver it Europe or the world by ship. I'm driving in the UK at the minute. I'm struggling to drive because I've got a, um, a broken neck and a neck brace on. So uh, I might have to forego that. But we can always get it bought up by transport if needs be, as long as it's paid for in advance. So obviously come and get it. That's about it. End.